Dear Second Prep, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's Mr. Ahmed Mahmoud with you today to introduce a new mathematics lesson. Today, inshallah, we have geometry. It's unit 5, lesson 4. The lesson is called Triangle Inequality. In this lesson, we are going to learn how can we compare a side, uh, the sides of the triangle and the relation between the lenses of the sides of triangle and how can we draw the triangle according to, uh, to its sides. Let's start the lesson. First, we are going to start with this example. Let we need to draw triangle ABC in which AB equal 7 centimeters and BC equal 6 centimeters and AC equal 5 centimeters. We already studied this, uh, <clears throat> this concept in the 6th primary. But now I need to remember how can we draw the triangle because we are going to use this concept in this lesson. First, we are going to use the uh, ruler to draw the larger side, which is 7 centimeter. Okay, by using the ruler like this. And then... write the letters and by using the compass and the ruler we are going to open the compass six centimeters to draw bc and fix the compass on the point b and draw an arc like this and then open the compass about five centimeters to draw the uh, uh, to draw ac and then put the compass on A and draw an arc to intersect the previous arc. The intersection point here is the point C. Then I'm going to connect B and the point of the intersection and connect A with the point of the intersection. This point is, as I said before, it's the point is point C. We see here that AC equal 5 centimeters, AB equal 7 centimeters, and BC equal 6 centimeters. Okay. Now, by looking to the lenses of the triangle, we have here 7, 6, and 5 centimeters. Okay. I need to compare the lenses of the two smaller sides. The two smaller sides are BC and AC. They are 6 and 5. Okay, I need to compare the sum of their lenses with the larger side, which is AB with uh, 7 centimeters. Okay, here we have BC equal 6 centimeters plus AC equal 5 centimeters. 6 plus 5 equals 11. Okay, and the greater side is 7. Then we see here that the sum 5 plus 6, which is 11, is greater than 7. Now, in this case, if we have the sum of the two smaller sides greater than the third, then we can draw the triangle because the sum of the, the two smaller sides greater than the third. Let's study another case. In this example, we have triangle ABC where AB equal 8 centimeters, BC equal 3 centimeters, AC equal 2 centimeters. Okay. Uh, by using the ruler here, I'm going to draw the larger one, which is 8 centimeters. Like this. And then by using the compass, I'm going to open the compass 3 centimeters to draw BC, which is 3 centimeters. Open the compass from 0 to 3. And then put the compass on the start of the line segment to the right and draw an arc like this. Finally, I'm going to open the compass two centimeters to draw AC. And then put the, the compass on the left point to draw another arc. Now we haven't an intersection point, so I can't draw the triangle, as you see, okay? Now I need to explain 
why this triangle why can't i draw why can't i draw this triangle okay by looking to the lenses of the two smaller sides three and two here three plus two equal five i need to compare the lenses of the two smaller sides with the greater sides the two smaller sides three plus two equal five and five here is smaller than eight and okay then because the two smaller sides the sum of the two smaller sides is smaller than the third so we can't draw the triangle in this case let's study another case in this triangle we have a b c where a b equal eight b c equals five and a c equal three okay as usual i'm going to draw a b which is eight centimeters and then by using the compass i'm going to open the compass five centimeters to draw bc from zero to five and then put the compass on the right point to draw the arc put the compass here and then draw the arc finally i'm going to open the compass three centimeters to draw ac centimeters and put the compass on the left point as you see and then draw another arc like this to find the intersection point here also the intersection point is not outside the length of the third side so i can't draw a triangle in this case okay why we ca can't we draw triangle in this case by locking to the two smaller sides five and three five plus three equals eight by comparing this uh, sum and the third side we find that the sum equal the third side so i can't draw triangle in this case now i explained the three cases the first case the sum was greater than the third in that case we can draw a triangle in the second case the sum was less than the third side so we can't draw the triangle in this case the sum equals the third side so we can't also draw the triangle okay now i am going to mention the rule like this triangle inequality in a triangle the sum of lengths of any two sides is greater than the length of the third side this is the condition to draw the triangle that the sum of lengths of any two sides must be greater than the third for example in this example we have six nine and ten by compare the two smaller sides six and nine six plus nine equals fifteen fifteen is greater than ten so we can draw the triangle because the sum of two sides greater than the third or the sum of the two smaller sides is greater than the third okay let's solve problems about this concept In this example, is it possible to draw triangle whose size lenses are the follow? Number one. Now, in this case, we have the two smaller sides are three and four as we see. Okay, three plus four equals seven. And seven is smaller than nine so we can't draw triangle okay whose length is three four and nine another example here we have ten six and four because by choosing the two smaller sides 
here 6 and 4 6 and 4 6 plus 4 equal to the length of the third side equal to 10 so we can't draw a triangle another example 5 3 and 4 by looking to the two smaller sides 3 and 4 3 plus 4 equal 7 and 7 is greater than 5 so the sum of the two smaller sides greater than the third side so we can draw a triangle in this case the fourth case here we have 9, 9, and 19. The two smaller sides, 9 and 9. 9 plus 9, less than, uh, 9 plus 9 equal 18, and 18 is smaller than 19. So we can't draw a triangle in this case, the, fourth, the fifth case. Here we have 5, 7, and 8. The two smaller sides, 5 and 7, 5 plus 7 equals 12 and 12 is greater than 8 so we can draw triangle in this case let's solve another example okay here we have another concept the interval which the third side included or belong for example if we have a triangle like this x centimeters and 9 centimeters and 6 centimeters in this example we have already two sides the length is of two sides nine and six and we need to know uh, the third side or the range of the third side the, th the length the range of the, the of the third side can put in an in inequality this inequality included our lies between the sum of the two sides and the difference of the two sides or we can put it in an interval this interval start with the difference of between the two sides and the sum of the two sides for like this x belongs to the interval included the difference and the sum the difference here means 9 minus 6 and the sum here means 9 plus 6 so x belong to okay 9 minus 6 comma 9 plus 6 9 minus 6 equals 3 and 9 plus 6 equals 15 so the third side included between 3 and 15 okay the third side can't equal 3 can't equal 15 but it can be any number between 3 and 15 okay and this is the rule we can find the interval included the third side okay In the next example, find the interval which the length of the third side of a triangle belongs in each of the following triangles if the length of the two other sides are. Number one, here we have six and nine. Okay, the third side here belongs to the open interval which included difference and the sum the difference here 9 minus 6 equals 3 and 9 plus 6 equals 15 so the third side included between 3 and 15 the next one 3 and 3 okay the third side here belongs to the open interval 3 minus 3 equal 0 and 3 plus 3 equal 6 then the third side belong to open interval 0 and 6 number 3 <coughs> the third side here belongs to the open interval
2.9 minus, uh, uh, excuse me, 3.2 minus 2.9 equals 0. 0.3 and 2.9 plus 3.2 equal 6.1. The next example. Here, in this example, ABC triangle, D belongs to BC. Prove that the perimeter of triangle ABC greater than 2 times AD. Okay. In this example, I'm going to divide this triangle into two triangles. Okay, in, in th inside the first triangle, ACD, in triangle ACD. Here we have AC and CD together. They are greater than AD. Okay, since AC plus C, D, greater than A, D. And this is a rule. I'm going to call this number one. And in triangle A, B, D, since Since AB plus BD greater than AD by adding, and this is number two, by adding one and 2 therefore AC from 1 plus CD from 2 uh, from 1 also plus BD from 2 plus AB from 2 greater than here In the first relation we have here AD, in the second relation we have also AD, AD plus AD equals 2 AD. Okay, here we have AC plus CD and BD. CD plus BD together give me BC and AD. Okay, it will be AC plus B C plus A D greater than 2 A D by looking carefully to the three sides A C B C A D we find they are the, the lenses the sides of triangle A B C okay then I am going to replace the three sides with the perimeter it will be perimeter of triangle ABC which is greater than 2 times AD and this is the question 3 the next one example 4 here in the opposite figure as we see ABC is a triangle in which X belongs to AB Y belong to BC, Z belong to AC. Prove that the perimeter of the larger triangle ABC is greater than the smaller triangle XYZ. Okay. In this one, I'm going to divide the shape into three triangles. Triangle AXZ, triangle YCZ, triangle 
x b y in the first triangle first in triangle first in triangle x a x z A x plus A z greater than x z and this is number one. Okay, in triangle Y c z. Y c plus Z C greater than Y Z and this is number two in triangle X Y B X B plus Y B is greater than x y and this is number three from one to three by adding one two and three here in one we have a x and here we have x b AX plus XB together give me AB. Therefore, AB. Okay, and here we have AZ. Here we have plus ZC. AZ plus ZC equals AC. Plus AC. And here we have YC. And here we have YB. YC plus YB equals BC. Okay, then, then I'm going to write BC plus BC greater than XZ plus YZ plus XZ. AB plus AC plus BC, all of them, the three sides of triangle ABC, this is the parameter of triangle ABC. P here means parameter. Okay, greater than parameter of triangle. XZ plus YZ plus XZ give me the sides of triangle XYZ. This is the parameter of triangle x y z then we get that parameter of triangle abc is greater than parameter of triangle x y z and this is the required the next one example five here in this example abc triangle d belong to bc as we see e belong to ac where BD, CD, CE, and DE are equal. Here, BD, CD, ED, and CE are equal. The first required, prove that BC greater than BE. Again, prove that BC greater than BE. Okay. First, in triangle, B E D since E D plus B D greater than E B. Okay. And since BD 
equal to E D equal to C D therefore we find that here B C equal E D plus B D again B C included B, C, B D plus C D and C D and B and E D are equal so B C equal B D plus E D then I'm going to replace E D plus B D with B C therefore B C is greater than E B and this is the first required the second required prove that A B plus B D is greater than A E okay in triangle A B C since BC since AB plus BC is greater than AC again in this triangle AB is greater than uh, sorry AB plus BC is greater than AC okay here we have EC and CD are equal. Okay, now by subtracting EC and since EC or CD equal to EC. This is number one and this is number two by subtracting two from one therefore a b plus b c this is number one minus c d is greater than AC minus EC okay BC minus CD again BC minus CD equals BD then here the difference BC minus CD equal BD and write down AB is greater than AC minus AC again AC minus EC equals AE this is the required AB plus BD a greater than AE the next example and this example complete the following uh, number one the sum of lenses of any two sides in a triangle is what the length of the third side is bigger than the, the length of the third side we can write this or we can write bigger than literally number two if the lenses of two sides in isosceles triangle three and seven okay here we have an isosceles triangle we we know that the isosceles triangle two sides are equal okay then the three sides will be three three and seven or seven seven and three first the first case can't be sides of triangle because three plus three equals six and six is smaller than smaller than seven then it can't be sides of triangle but here we have three plus seven equal ten and ten greater than seven then the three sides here are sides of triangle then the lenses will be seven seven and three then the the third side will be seven the next one a triangle that has one axis of symmetry okay we all remember that the no, the 
triangle which has one axis of symmetry which is an isosceles triangle the lengths of two sides are four and eight if we have an isosceles triangle two sides are four and eight okay then the third side will be we can't find triangle four four and eight because four plus four equal eight but i can find the triangle the two sides eight eight and the third side is four then the third side here is eight number four triangle abc ab equal three bc equal five and ac equal x okay then x belong to what here we have the lenses of two sides three and five then x belong to the open interval five minus three equals two and five plus three equals eight and this is the end of the lesson i hope it was helpful for you see you in the next video inshallah assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh